Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Zab. So today I'm going to show you how you solve the problems that were given on the weekends. So the first problem that I'm going to solve will be the problem sum for Singapore Primary Math. Alright, so for this problem, you will typically see it in PSLE um, question in your paper, right? Normally it's in paper 2. So for this question, I'm going to introduce to you the non-routine method, right? That you can easily use, which is called the gap and difference method. So this gap and difference method is known as a non-routine method. Alright, so let's read the problem sum so that you can take a look at this problem sum and understand how to use gap and difference method. Alright, so let's read using the GWS method with Dr. Zamsky's checklist. Tracy packed some hair clips into packets to be sold at the night market. So you must understand clearly, read carefully. So Tracy basically packed hair clips into packets, right? Which she used these packets to sell at the night market. All right. Now, the same number of hair clips are packed in each packet. So that means in each packet, you will have the same number of hair clips. All right. Now, let's look at this uh, next few sentences. If Tracy made 45 packet, she would have 5 hair clips shot. Right? So if she made 45 packet, she has she will have 5 clips shot. That means she needs 5 more. If she made 20 packets, she would have 95 hair clips left. Right? So when she made lesser, she will have many many more hair clips left. In this case 95. So what's the question? The question is, how many hair clips are there in each packet? Alright, so for this method of gap and difference, you don't really need to draw a model, but most importantly, you must take a look at the keywords. So in this case, the keyword here is short and left, right? So for gap and difference, normally, if you're using gap and difference for this sort of problem sum, you must look out for the keyword short and left. Alright, so let's take a look at the two cases. Alright, so in case 1, alright, Tracy made 45 packets. Okay, she made 45 packets. And she had 5 short. Okay, she needs 5 more, so she's 5 short. In case 2, she made 20 packets. Alright, and she has 95 more. So it is in the opposite direction, right? She had 95 left so this direction is a very important concept in gap and difference method right so for case one when she made 45 packets she needed five more whereas for case two when she made 20 packets she had 95 left she had extra right so 95 these both are in opposite directions all right so this concept of opposite direction is very important because in gap and difference you are looking at the gap and the difference so in this case if you look at the number of packets, you can derive the gap. So the gap is between the numbers of packets she could make in the two cases. So to calculate the gap, all you need to do is just find the gap between these two, which is just to minus it off. And then you know the gap is 25 packets. right? So the gap between these two cases is 25 packets. Now, to find the difference, you must take note of the direction right so in this case let me just change the color of the pen all right so that you can see clearly right so in this case is it moving this direction that means she needs more whereas the other case she has 95 left right so it's in the opposite direction okay so for gap and difference when the direction is opposite Okay, when the direction is in the opposite direction, you will need to add. Alright, you will need to add the difference. Okay, but if it's in the same direction, same direction, then you need to minus. Alright, you need to minus. So, since these two are in the opposite direction, you need to minus. Okay, in this opposite direction, like I mentioned here, if it's in the opposite direction, you need to add. Alright, so down here you have 5 short and 95 left. So all you have to do is just add both of these together. 
right? So you get 100. So this is the difference, this is the gap, right? So the next thing you need to do is just take the difference divided by the gap. So you know each packet will have how many hair clips, right? So there are four. So the final answer here is four, right? So how many hair clips are there in each packet? The answer is four. So it is good to check, right? So if Tracy made 45 packets, so 45 times four, it is 180. So she would have five hair clips short. So by right, she has 175 hair clips because five hair clips short means by right, she has 175. If she wants to make 180, she needs five more. So if she made 20 packets, it means she will just need 80. So 80 plus 95 is again 175. So yes check so how many hair clips are there in each packet there are four hair clips in each packet all right so for gap and difference uh the keywords are very important the understanding of when you use gap and difference is very important so the way is when your child or you need to choose your problem sum strategy you have to clearly understand the problem sum so you know which method to use all right one thing i want to take note here is very important for you to know what is the gap between the two cases or the scenarios, what is the gap? You just need to minus them and find the gap. And then when you are calculating the difference, you need to take note of whether in this situation, one is short, the other is left. You know, you need more, the other one you have extra. So both are in the opposite direction. So when, when, the, when the situations are in the opposite direction, the number is in the opposite direction, you add them up. So in this case, we added them up. So if I were to change the problem sum so that you can understand if let's say I change from 95 hair clips left I change to 95 hair clips short and both are short then you need to minus them off right so you need to take 95 minus 5 but in this case it is not or if both are also left let's say 5 hair clips left 95 hair clips left both are in the same direction you need to minus them off so for gap and difference it's very important for your child to clearly understand when to use it because if not your child will not be able to use this method Alright, so I hope you will know how to use gap and difference for this sort of problem sum. Uh, gap and difference is also used typically in speed uh, and distance kind of questions. And at the same time, sometimes students would like to use uh, the units method or the model method to solve this. But for this problem sum, I've decided not to show you any of the uh, common methods that we use. And that is just to let your child understand, reason out the problem sum using the gap and difference method. Alright, so I hope you try this out. If you have any questions, always ask me. Alright, so see you again. Thank you.